I was born in Sydney. I was about eight years old when I moved to Brisbane. I grew up on the north side of Brisbane um, with my parents and my younger sister. I was um, schooled in, at a local state school and then um, went to university in Brisbane. As a child, I grew up in Brisbane, on the south side of Brisbane. I've been here my whole life. I've loved woodwork at school. Uh, that's probably one of the reasons I got into this industry and started carpentry as well. I just loved starting with nothing and building from that into something. Aaron and I met on an online um, dating application and my first question to him was, what do you do? And he wrote back, I'm a carpenter. And I said, oh, is it your own business or do you work for someone? And he wrote back, I have my own business. But at that stage, he literally just registered the company name and that's all it was doing. <laughs> One day with a couple of my mates and um, talking to them while we're out there and said, I really want to meet a girl that has these um, passions, the same as me, property, business, um, invest in property, um, not crazy. Within probably a few weeks after that, Lauren and I met up and she was that exact same person. So Aaron was at me to quit my job from day one, from when we first met. Quit your job and come in and work in the business. And I said to him, I'm, I'm not prepared to quit my job for a boyfriend. When there's a ring on the finger, we might have this discussion again. And fast forward, we got the business coach, fast forward and probably about six months. And when Aaron got down on one knee, it was with the question, will you now come and work in the business full time? Well, of course I said yes, but I had to clarify, are you asking me to marry you or are you just asking for a business partner? Then he asked the, will you marry me question. Future Fit House started in 2010. So our point of difference in the market, what I believe, is that we're basically a construction company that cares. We give back a lot. We, through the uh, initiative called Buy One, Give One, literally for every new inquiry, whenever the phone rings with a new client, uh, we're giving back for every fee proposal sent, we give back for every uh, project started and completed, we're giving back. So uh, we love the fact that we can give back. When we first started the company, we had a, a house on the south side and we started with a laptop in the kitchen. We then decided to build a small office in the garage and um, we had a couple of really great guys working for us at the time. So in order to keep them, we decided to renovate our house. So we extended the house, built this beautiful home office, which was big enough for four people. And then a, a baby came along. So we moved into a tin shed in um, Bowen Hills. It was a horrible office and when you're trying to have a vision of a company that we transform spaces into inspiring environments and you're in a shed that it flooded, um, we were over the news, it was a freak water main that burst, it was 15 metres high into the air. So walking through an office that was ankle deep with water and we knew in order to attract a world class team we had to do something about our space. And we ended up holding a careers night in our old office, a room full of about 15 people. And we, we said to them, this isn't our office. This is just a, a temporary office. We have a dream office. It's being built as we speak. And it's a Google inspired fit out. We didn't have the dream office. We didn't have the dream fit out, but we were trying to sell people the dream of what we wanted the company to be. It worked. We had a few people buy into it who are still with us today. Um, and about a year later, we managed to secure our now dream office. So it's really important to us the business follows through with the values and including all of our staff and people in the business. We have developed a um, visualised goal board of all of our future team's dreams and goals and it was placed strategically by the printer so every day when our team get up and head to the printer they're reminded of why they're here and how they can achieve their personal goals. Some of the goals people have achieved already to date, booking holidays to Fiji, writing a book, getting a new car. Myself and Lauren, we've booked our holiday um, for the next sort of 12 months. The 
B1G on initiative is uh, a community where you give back and through all different initiatives. One of ours is every time a new project is completed, we save one square metre of the Daintree rainforest in Queensland. And another one is every time a new inquiry comes in, we give back one brick to help build a school in Kenya. The early days, I remember one of the first jobs we won, it, it was a value of around $4,000 and we wanted to save the money, as much money as we could, so Aaron and I went into this client space on the weekend and cleaned because that hundred odd dollars we could put back into the company towards advertising and marketing. Everything in this business we've done ourselves. So. If you need us to go and sweep the floors or clean the office or whatever it is, we'll, we'll put our hand up to do it.